It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. All right, John, so our pilot crew just got out of here with the barge, and we're getting ready to come in here and start doing the internal framing and putting in the header so we can get this thing decked out. Okay, so the barge, okay, you'll hold multiple pilings on it, and there are these long, huge, literally trunks of trees. Yes, sir. Okay, it's pine, it's been treated, and, uh, and I saw a boom was, was kind of picking it up and holding it vertically in place. Exactly, yeah, so we got a big crane on the barge. So Mr. Bland, okay, this, this is Clint Bland's house in Cape Coral. He's going with two boat lifts. And you have to get one of these, it's called a piling, you have to get it down into the seafloor. How do you get it down deep? Yeah, so we'll jet with a pump, and we'll jet it down until it starts to sink. And so then when so it stops water, sinking, water shooting out the jet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got a three inch pump. Okay, and, and, and literally, how tall are these pilings originally? Well, 20 to 30 foot high, depending on how far out you have to go in the depth of the water. Okay, so if it was just a dock that you were, that you were building, and you guys are experts at that, yep. how deep would you have to jet in a, in a pylon? Well, usually we want about five to seven foot for our dock pylon, and seven to 10 foot of penetration for our lift pylon. Okay, now you've gone ahead and you've done the framing, okay? And, and kind of give everybody the, the, the layout of, of Mr. Bland's structure here. This is gonna be unbelievable. Yeah, so what we're doing here is we're going to have a three foot finger that's going to run out about 25 foot on this side here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to come in and you're going to see the slip. And then there's going to be the four boat lift motors okay, attached that, and that's to the, the 10 the inch pilots. Deco, deco boat lifts exactly. are going in there. Yep. What's this huge area right here? Well, this is going to be just a big platform and we've got a four post tiki hut going in here. It's a monster. Oh my gosh, he's going to have such a blast. And then you have another slip, which uh, another lift's going to go in. And then out there you have a, uh, another finger pier. Correct. Which correct. is about 25 feet. Yep, correct. I'm looking at the framing material, and this is rough cut lumber. You, you don't get, you, this is a two by eight, but this is a really a two by eight. You don't get that at a home center. Yeah, no, this isn't your ordinary Home Depot plywood here where it's an inch and a half by seven and a quarter thick. This is actual two by eight measurement. Okay, and, and what are the gentlemen out there, what, what are they actually putting underneath the, the framing? They're putting the headers in. Okay, and header goes from what to what? The headers usually go from piling to piling, up underneath the framing, and what we're gonna put in next, the stringers, to hold all that up, to support okay. it. Now the stringer is gonna be what distance on center? We're gonna put our stringers at 20 inches on center. Well, well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. This is Jason Erickson. Jason is the general manager of Williamson Brothers, a huge marine contracting firm uh, in Florida, and uh, Clint's really gone with the best of the best. I mean, hiring a crew like you, the deco boat lifts. What did he go with decking-wise? Because it's, it's not typical, it's, it's not wood. He's going with something really high-end. Yeah, so he's got an all-composite, two-by-six, lumber rock, synthetic decking. Okay, and that's primarily what we're going to be concentrating in on today. It's really going to be a great show. Um, how many square feet are we looking at? It's about 960 square foot, John. Well, how about if we do this? Let's finish up the headers, let's put in some stringers, and I want to learn a little bit more about this lumber rock that everybody is just raving about. But before we can kind of get into that, we need to kind of acknowledge all the people who help make Shipshape TV possible. Guys, listen up. Shipshape TV, where boat improvement lives, is made possible by Deco Boat Lifts, lifting your boats for over 60 years. Discover the Deco difference. Now in our 45th year, KenCraft introduces the all-new 2020 KenCraft Bay Rider Bay Boats and Skiffs, powered exclusively by Yamaha, specifically designed to fish hard, specifically designed to cruise well with your family. Can there really be one boat that does both exceedingly well? Yes, there can, with a KenCraft. KenCraft, top-tier fit and finish. KenCraft, only the best, most expensive marine hardware integrated. Can it be yours? Of course it can. Affordably. KenCraftBoats.com. 
Here are just a few issues that all pleasure boaters have to deal with. Leaking sunshades, dirty, stained, molded in, non-skid, black streaks dripping down from the side of your boat, oxidation, stained hulls like this ugly waterline mustache, bird droppings, and yes, spiders. Your solution, Star Bright Solutions, the perfect video resource for teaching the boat owner one-on-one -on -one what to use and how to use it to obtain star-like results. Watch now, only at starbright.com. That's starbright.com. Attention waterfront property owners already sold on the fact that synthetic lumber for decks and docks is far superior to the pitfalls of pressure treated wood. You know about the splintering and the weathering issues. However, not every composite board sold is alike. Some turn chalky, decay due to mold and mildew. Most fade in color with age, though not true when you opt for the best. Lumber Rock, the fastest growing manufacturer of synthetic lumber on and around the waterfront. Lumber Rock, we never fade away. Welcome back. You're watching ShipShape TV, boat improvement made easy. Here are some more of the stringers going into Clint Blant's dock in Cape Coral. And welcome back. Want to zero in on the decking material that he has okay. selected. And we again have Phil Rack, the vice president of sales with us from Lumber Rock. And Phil, uh, about an hour ago, we actually had Dixie Fly right. with a truckload of the Lumber Rock come to Cape Coral. We offloaded it. And we're about to start doing some decking after these stringers are, are, are put in place. Right. Um, we then immediately had, uh, had a delivery from Deco Boat Lifts, okay? Uh, he has two boat lifts going in, okay? And again, to just, if you were to take a look at like an aerial of this dock, we got a finger pier, we got a slip where a boat lift's going in, we got a main flipping common area right here, which is going to be amazing with the peak hut, another boat lift, and then a finger pier. We want to deck this material. We want to mm -hmm. outfit this dock with the best stuff that we can. That's, that's Clint's taste. That's Clint's style. Right. He selected Lumber Rock. And Lumber Rock is a subsidiary of what company? Uh, we're a subsidiary of CMI. And CMI is the world's leading manufacturer of vinyl fiber reinforced sheet wall. OK, guys. I want you to take a look at the seawall that's across the canal. Okay, this particular seawall, this is made from concrete. And one of the problems with concrete is uh, they'll use the rebar. Yeah. And, and that metal will start rusting. And, and you can see the rust coming out from the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. How a seawall kind of works is, is they, have, they have dead heads. Yes, so they'll right. They take an excavator and they literally scoop out a big chunk, maybe about 10, 12 feet back behind the bulkhead. They pour in a big ball of concrete, right? and then they have a big, thick rebar going, a couple of them, going to the bulkhead to keep it in place. What happens is when that rebar rusts through, the concrete seawall literally will crumble and fall into the waterway. Exactly. Huge expense removing it. Yes. Okay? This vinyl corrugated seawall goes right over top of it. Right, right, in, at, right, right, right in front, front of it. You don't have to remove anything. Right. You, you have the cap you have a cost savings right the percentage of people in my audience that don't want a front home it's huge right and guys i'm telling you if you do have a concrete seawall it's going to happen some days coming up and you're not going to want that bill no trust me so it's going to save you a lot of money let's get into lumber rock yeah uh you're what's known as a mono extruded product correct well, correct why is that a big deal to a consumer at home with a mono extruded product, the color goes all the way through. The color on the top of the board is the same as the color inside the board. It's the same as the color on the bottom. So when you're using a jigsaw, when you're using a table saw, cross-cut saw, okay? Yeah. And, and, and you're looking at the end grain of lumber rock, you're going to see the same color. And the other thing is, whatever you do with wood, you can do with my product. You can router that edge and make it really, really pop. Let's talk about the colors that Clint went with. What did he go with? Clint went with putty and harbor wood. Uh, it comes in 10 different colors. Here they are, okay? A lot of, lot of different choices. I want to get into the different profiles, the, the different thicknesses. Yes. Okay, what is the skinniest deck board y'all make? The skinniest deck board that we will make is a five-quarter deck board. Okay, so, so, so... It's inch and an eighth. It's in an eighth. Now, Clint went with uh, two by six. Clint went with two by six. I'm seeing two by eight, though, dude. We... Going more and more into docks and, 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 and boardwalks. Boardwalks and docks. It's a gorgeous 
looking product. Okay, you, you have a lot of accessory products like 10 inch wide fascia board. You have, a, oh my gosh, for the piling. Jason yes. was talking about eight inch uh, diameter pro, uh, pilings, 10 inch, yes. all right? They, they, have, they have lumber rock strips, this composite, never rot, never sun fade type of product to where literally, vertically, you can go all the way around this piling with, with these strips. Little tip that I love to give my audience, you know, uh -huh. my, my viewers, is guys, you know, the top of that piling is going to get a lot of rain on it. And all, that's all end grain. Okay, that's end grain wood. And that water's going to get down there and it's going to, that's the first, that's the number one cause of, of a piling uh, needing that's to gonna, be replaced exactly. along with the Dorado worms. Okay? Right. Jason's company has been putting on these uh, wraps, okay, right. cutting off the air supply and cutting off the light supply. And, and those are the two things that a Dorado worm needs to eat the piling, and the hourglass of piling. So, right. so he's got that covered. If you look at the percentage of, of my yeah. audience that has a waterfront home, yeah. okay, uh, they're going to need uh, or want right. perhaps a, uh, a synthetic composite board mm -hmm. rather than wood. That, that it's a lifetime product. Right. Where, where could they go and get more information? Please go to our website, lumberrock.com. It coincides with the rotted sea. I mean, concrete seawalls are literally crumbling all over the world. And information. And you guys are global, okay. We're uh, global. Lumberrock is, is global. CMI is global. Get, it, get into CMI. Okay. CMI. This is going to save you a lot of money, guys. CMILC.com. That website is phenomenal. There's a gallery on there that will give you some ideas. Okay, this, this is awesome. Phil, I need to stick around. Okay. Because what I want to do, real quick, we're going to take a time out. I want Phil to kind of uh, show us and teach us how to custom fit uh, this lumber rock around round structures like pilings and everything, how to dress it up. And we'll cover it right after this critical word from the people who make this show possible. Stick around. Stay bolted. Ship Shape TV will be back in a stick. Protect bare metal from the damaging effects of salt, grime, and water with the long-lasting power of the Hide. Shark Hide Metal Protective. Shark Hide for decades has been the only way to keep plain, randomized aluminum looking like new. Indefinitely, it's the only product that goes on in seconds and dries to the touch fast. Yet, last years and years. Preserve that diamond plate. Coat stainless steel hardware. Hide all signs of aging from all bare metals with the Hide. Shark Hide. So what are you waiting for? Order now. There are some things not to love about boating. Refueling with a gas can certainly makes that list. If you're tired of fumbling around with today's gas can nozzles or impossible to reach fuel fills, the LilyPad Marine Funnel is for you. The dock-mounted design helps keep both hands free, allowing you to stand comfortably as you transfer up to five gallons of fuel in 50 seconds. When finished, simply coil your hose up in the cabinet and enjoy some fun in the sun. Order your LilyPad Marine Funnel today at lilypadmarine.com. Welcome back. You're dialed in to Shipshape TV, boat improvement that's easy to comprehend. I know Clint's back, kind of getting stuff ready to do his final move here. Right. From Illinois. And guys, welcome back. If he was here, though, I'm sure he would agree with me that this right here, this big open space, is absolutely not acceptable. Yep. Okay? No, 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 no. no. I'm saying, what he's trying to do is he's trying to cope this in, and I don't care how thin that piece it should come flush with that. Board. Well, that, that's ridiculous. John, actually, it's going to. Because what Clint decided to do is he's going to wrap his entire deck with a different color, the harborwood fascia. So when they put the harborwood fascia underneath here, this is going to be flush. OK, you can see that right there, Right. how it's flush. Get in there, check that out, OK? I think that's awesome. Here, give me that. Give me that board. Sure. Okay. This. This is the five-quarter board, okay? This is, this is one of the decking options. This is one of the profiles that they offer. I want you to take a look at when, when you do cut, you do an end cut. Right. And you're looking at the, the cross grain here, or the end grain. Notice how the color is all the way through, just like the top board. It's very finished. It's very nice. And um, 
clip or clips actually going with this board right here. This is this is two inch profile. This is two by six. This is one by six. And um, and again, we have Phil Rack with us, the vice president of sales from Lumber Rock. Phil, what's he using as spacers? And and is this recommended to have any type of gapping in between your different uh, deck boards? Right Absolutely, John. So what he's using is a 16 penny galvanized nail. And what that's going to do is it's going to give him an eighth of an inch spacing throughout the entire dock project. Okay, can, can, can we take a look at the, this, this is though the mounting hardware. This yep. is not galvanized, my friend. This, this is actually, wow. Look at this, this is a star bit and it's color coordinated. You guys offer that? Well, yes, exactly. Yes, we do. Okay, and, and it's stainless steel. This, this is what's called brackish water where you have a mix of fresh water coming into salt water. Right. And salt water has a tendency <laughs> to corrode galvanized hardware like crazy. Or zinc or, or, or anything. It'll, it'll destroy it. You want to go with stainless steel. You want to go with 316 stainless. Okay, and, and that's what he's doing right now. And and how how does he get that cut? How does he get that radius so perfectly tight up against the piling? Well, A. It's the, one of the great advantages of working with Lumber Rock because he's not using any tools that he does that he wouldn't use for wood. Um, so so you can cut the material with with like a like a circular saw. A, you can cut it with a jigsaw, a, table saw, whatever, whatever you got. Exactly, and it, you'll notice as he's screwing it in, he's not he doesn't have to pre-drill. Really? With Lumber Rock, you do not need to pre-drill. Okay, and when you're talking about when you're hiring. You know, a marine contractor, a lot, <laughs> biggest part of the price is labor. Yeah. Okay, if you're taking labor out of the situation, you're going to save money. Okay, um, let's talk about the transition of the two cords. Okay? Yeah. And, and this is the two-tone. This is the putty color. It is. And this is the harbor wood. It, it, exactly. Okay, and, and where is that transition going to take place? And do they have to do anything differently, stringer-wise, in order to make that transition? So happen? what what they're going to do is they're going to come out from the front of Clint's property, roughly 20 feet. We're going to run three boards, 25 feet long. Those are the special Those are the special boards. Exactly. Okay. And all the car all the carpenters have to do is just header off that two foot or 16 inch, however many transition boards they want to use, header that off, screw the boards down, it's going to look absolutely Un beautiful. Unbelievable. Guys, um, if any of this interests you and you might want to consider, you know, the Lumber Rock, I know they can get hold of you, right? Uh, please, lumberrock.com. My office is, A, they can answer any of your questions, and B, we will help get the right product to you and you know what? At the right price. When we come back, we are going to have Chris Mussel on the program from Deco Boat List. We're going to have to have all of this dock completely decked in order to get the boat lifts installed. Uh, quite an interesting process. These are, these are beamless lifts, low profile lifts. And wait until we show you how they do not hamper your view. We're gonna give you all a great look right after this. Boat Steering Solutions, every boater's BFF, is not a repair shop. We remanufacture hydraulic devices back to original factory specs. We disassemble, inspect, and replace all defective parts. Simply tell us what's wrong. Ship us your helm, cylinder, it's remanufactured. Then back to you in a day or two, at like half the cost of buying new. Need hydraulic hose? Boat Steering Solutions, your official C-Star authorized service center, is your BFF. The savings are here at BoatSteer.com. Hi, I'm Barry Burhoff with Surehold Industry. Look at this guy and all the stuff he needs to maintain his boat. I guarantee you he'll be tripping on that all day long. Forget that nonsense. Use the Surehold family of products featuring the one handle that does it all. Surehold has over 40 different quality attachments that easily locks into place. Deck brushes, mops, squeegees, scrubbers, paddles, boat hooks, and even a camera adapter. Whether it's for your car, truck, RV, or boat, keep it clean and simple with Surehold products. I'm Chris Bissell, one of the mechanical engineers at Deco Boat Lift. Since 1959, we've been leading the industry in both design and innovation, such as our patented cable retention system. So we can lift your boat quickly, quietly, and safely. I invite you to discover the Deco difference. Lift, Deco Boat Lift, lift boats with ease. 
Welcome back. You're tuned into Shipshape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. This is one of the uppers for uh, a beefy deco boat lift. This, this is what's called a low profile beamless lift. And welcome back. A lot of progression has happened here on Clint Bland's dock. Yep. We have a two tone lumber rock color scheme going on. What, what do you think of it? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I, yeah, I, I'd love to see a little darker incorporated somewhere. And, and, and maybe they could do the, you know, those pilings. Yeah, uh, do strips, the strips along the pilings, or make it look good. Maybe they could do some accentuation on the tiki yep. uh, bar, something like that. But a couple days ago, you came to the property and you dropped off all of these different components. Yep. We have two different lifts for Clint. This first one's how, what, what kind of weight capacity? This is a 13,000 pound beamless right here. Okay, it'll and, lift 13,000 pounds. And the other side is a 10,000 pound okay. beamless lift. So, so a little larger boat, a little smaller boat. Correct. Let's point out the different components. Sure. What do we have here? So what you're holding right there is the gearbox. This. Which is the main, uh, our proprietary gearbox we make in-house from raw materials. All right. Uh, connected to that is our, is our direct drive motor. This is the motor. Correct. And right. then uh, across the front face is our patented cable retention system. This, this is what everybody talks about, right. is, is this right here. And um, how, how does it work with the, with the cable being kind of uh, wound into grooves yep. rather than just being overlapping each yeah. other, like so, a reel on a, on, a, on a fishing pole? Right. We utilize a deep groove cable winder, and we're the only company to actually manufacture a half moon shape uh, retainer that actually locks over the top half of the deep groove and keeps the cables locked in tight. Okay, so um, this gets attached to the piling house? It gets attached to the piling using two massive through bolts. They'll drill all the way through the piling and then place their bolts all the way through. And then they'll run a string line to make sure that their, their power heads are actually nice, straight, level, and, and flush. Okay, coming off of the cable retention system, this is the cable I see. Yes. It's going through a pulley, and what's it, what's it going down to? Yeah, so uh, the cable comes from the upper beam, goes down through the pulley at the lower, and comes back up to the upper. Okay, and uh, so, so these are called uppers. Generically, yep. these are called lowers. Correct. Okay, um, we have what, tube? These are the box beams. Yep, box and, beam and, and construction. These are again the, the the spanners. These are what I call spanner pipes, and what they what they do is there's two on on uh, on each boat lip, and it locks the two cradles in position, so it makes a nice square rigid connection. There's no there's no wiggle room in the in the cradle. Okay, what's left because it doesn't look to me like it's ready to have a sure. boat uh, so, driven onto it. So all the installer has left to do is uh, install the bunking system, and this lift will be ready to go with a beamless low profile lift. Is there anything up here that would ha uh, hamper your view? No, so that's one of the big uh, major advantages of having a beamless lift is that you don't have a, an intrusive upper beam, such as if you look across the canal, you see upper beams all up and down this canal. Yeah. You would, all you would really see is more of the profile of the boat itself. Okay, so it's a, it's a much, much higher end look. Correct. If you have waterfront property and um, Got a couple other questions. Sure. This little bump out. Oh yeah. Why do people put this into a dock? It's great for a for a beamless and even for a standard lift. You guys see, the, you guys see this? Lift. What I'm talking about? It's, see, this is this is the main dock. They got a little bump out. It allows you to actually go from the dock into the boat with relative ease. So so it gets you like another foot closer. Absolutely. Yes. Board, so you don't have to do a big step over. Correct. You're a little bit closer. Correct. You can get into the boat. Chris, I need you next time. I want you to actually teach us how to use and operate a boat lift, how to level it, how to, how to get the boat to drain using the boat lift. Yep. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I need you to teach me, but um, we need to take a break. When we come back, we're going to wrap up. But real quick, I want to show you this hemp rope, okay, right here. Look at, look at this rope, okay? This is like two-inch rope that Clint's using here yeah. as, as a handrail. And I'm thinking, you know, what did this rope say on a Wednesday? Hey, it's hemp day. What, what do you think of that? What do you think of that, Chris? Where'd you come up with that? I don't know. It, 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 it just works. <laughs> huh? Huh? Deco has mastered the art of boat lifts. We make big boat lifts, little boat lifts. We have lifts for your toys. Lifts for all the boys. Deco's direct drive lifts. Deco's very elegant beamless lifts. Elevator lifts even the very sexy boathouse lifts. So remember that, that only Deco has mastered the beautiful art of boat lifts. Deco boat lifts, lifts boats with ease. 
This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. There are some things not to love about boating. Refueling with a gas can certainly makes that list. If you're tired of fumbling around with today's gas can nozzles or impossible to reach fuel fills, the LilyPad Marine Funnel is for you. The dock mounted design helps keep both hands free, allowing you to stand comfortably as you transfer up to five gallons of fuel in 50 seconds. When finished, simply coil your hose up in the cabinet and enjoy some fun in the sun. Order your LilyPad Marine Funnel today at lilypadmarine.com. Big news! Full episodes are now available on the Shipshake TV YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, and every time a program posts, you'll be personally notified. Chris, I kind of wanted to give everybody in the audience kind of some perspective of the immensity of this project that we've been doing here this week at Shipshake TV. Right, uh, right in this area, this is the end of one of the finger piers, guys. And we've got caps on top of the pilings. This is going to keep the end grain from uh, the rainwater hitting it and, and, and busting it out. We've got some beautiful rope handrails. What we have is a Deco 10,000 pound lift, beamless, low profile. It's got four power heads on it. Coming down the pier, we've got a little walkway right here, okay, which looks amazing. And then this is kind of a this is kind of the main staging area that Clint was talking about for him and his friends to kind of hang out on. This, this is massive. It's lumber rock decking. It's the two by six. It's two tone. We again have Christmas out on the program. Chris, these four posts, they're very tall. Pan out there. These four posts, this is for his upcoming tiki yeah. bar. This is going to be really cool. Look great. We were talking about that brown, maybe like a little darker chocolate. Yeah. Man, if he did some type of an accent right here, coming through here oh yeah tying all the pilings into that that would look great check this out did you did you hear about this no I didn't hear about this is uh this is going to be a glass floor and it's going to be to where I can look down into the water and see fish at night they're, they're gonna be putting in underwater lights and apparently they're making a huge concrete ball is like an artificial reef oh, with yeah. openings in it with the underwater light and it's gonna attract fish like crazy they're going to be able to uh, hang out here, watch football games now. And my gosh, uh, a lot of things going on. We have so many people that we need to thank. Jason was on the program from Williamson Brothers. Yep. We need to thank their team. They worked really hard. You guys building the lifts, amazing. Phil and everybody at Lumber Rock, uh, CMI with the, with the uh, seawalls. But you know what? I, I need you next time, dude. I want you to show us how to use the lift. Absolutely. How to set it up. I mean, we might have it, and because of our egos, guys have really tried to do it. Egos. We don't ask questions, and so we don't use things to its fullest capacity. Absolutely. We'll, I want we'll, you to do that for we'll, me. We'll do that. Guys, we're all out of time. John Graviscus, Christmas Sale, Deck of Boat Lifts. We'll see you next on the next go around. It's the end of the week. It's hot. Cold ones? First round's on me. All right, you got it. See you guys. Sea Deck was founded by a group of individuals who share a love of life on the water. 13 years later and more than 130 employees strong, our passion has grown stronger than ever before. We are fishermen. We are paddleboarders. We are surfers. We, we are, are parents. parents. We are Captains for Clean Water.